Welcome to On the Pitch, our weekly soccer show where we take you around West Central Ohio and talk about what happened on that soccer field. And this week we're going to be joined by LCC boys team in studio. Looking forward to that. But first, let's take a look back at the week that was, starting with a Tuesday Western Buckeye League matchup between Shawnee and OG. OG looking to stay unbeaten on the road against Shawnee. 12 minutes into this game, Cross comes into John Andrews. He buries the one-timer. Nice goal to give the Indians a one to nothing lead. Other end now, long throw for Brad Croy. It finds the head of Austin Williams, but Jacob Ellerbrock makes the great save. Titans looking for the equalizer. Ball played to Mitch Neese, headed toward goal, but the save is made by Logan Spielis. Six minutes left now, Trevor Ellerbrock shot is blocked out to John Schrader. His shot is deflected and in. A huge game tying goal, last chance for Shawnee. Andrews attacking the far side, open shot, a big save by Ellerbrock. This one ends in a 1-1 draw. On Thursday, the OG girls, they're ranked ninth in the state, taking on Defiance. Lady Titans already up 2-0. Emma Bruscotter shot, Abby Rickenbaugh makes the save for the Bulldogs. More from OG, Danielle Schrader. A long shot from about 25 yards out, and it's over the keeper and into the goal. Nicely done. Three nothings, three nothing Titans halfway through the first half. Later, Bruscotter centers. Madeline Klein able to clear it for Defiance, but OG not done yet. Kylie Schimmower finds Bruscotter. Another long shot finds the back of the net. Four nothing Titans, and they win this one big. Nine nothing. More on the OG ladies in a minute. Saturday action, Bluffton boys hosting Salina over to Steinmetz Field. 1-0 Bulldogs in the first half. Anthony Kingsley gets a shot away. Save is made by Brandon Kahn. Salina attacking now. Ryan Hoyne into the box. Sliding collision. Joe Schreiner able to come up with it and keep it a one-goal game. Other end, Adam Basinger taking a Pirates free kick. Good ball in. Gets headed out by Cole Harlow. One-time shot, but it's high and wide. Still a one goal game. Time winding down in the first half. Ball across the middle. Jaron Castro open shot but he puts it just wide. Now 10 seconds left in the half. Hoyne making a run. He shoots and finds the back of the net. Salina makes it two to nothing with just three seconds left in the first half and Salina takes it four to one. Back to OG. Girls for a second. Senior Grace Warnicke is our player of the week. On the pitch, she had three goals in that win over the Bulldogs, and the Lady Titans are now 7-0-1 on the season. Right now, we're joined by the LCC boys team in studio. Head coach Gary Tabler, senior Jacob Tabler in the middle, and Alberto Bassoni, another senior on the end. Coach, we'll start with you. 5-2 and two on the season, and you're a young team, but you're playing well so far. How, have you, how have you, would you assess the season so far? Well, well, first, Matt, I'd like to, to thank you and WOSN for all the coverage you give to high school uh, soccer in the area. It's, it's really appreciated by our school and, and I'm sure all the other schools in the area as well. Well, we love to cover it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, um, you know, this is my first year as a coach and I think coming in, uh, I had my expectations. I knew we would be young and inexperienced. Um, we graduated seven seniors, lost eight starters from last year. So we knew we were kind of starting over from scratch. But um, uh, I've been pleasantly surprised with the way our younger guys have developed and um, and really our, our, our upperclassmen have, have shown some outstanding leadership uh, and that has helped develop our younger players. So uh, we're getting better every game and uh, we feel like uh, by the end of the year we'll be peaking and be where we want to be. That's what you want to be doing. Jacob, as a senior, what are some of the ways you lead the younger group? It must be fun to, to be playing with a bunch of guys that really look up to you and you can take under, their wing, under your wing. Yeah, it's been nice. I've played with a lot of great players over the years and I've really looked up to and it's nice to kind of share my experience with them as well knowing that playing the four years of high school that i've played and i they've already stepped up enough I and mean, they've done a fantastic job and it's just a pleasure to be able to work with them and see them become even better players than they already are yeah that must be fun especially knowing it's your last year alberto you're an interesting story you're come from italy right yeah, exchange student right. and then all of a sudden you're playing soccer what what is what has the ride been like for you what has the experience been like uh, so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying, like, here soccer is quite different because now here is football, the main sport. I'm used to Italy where soccer is yeah. the main sport. And, um, but, like, it, 
it's different the, also the way to play. In Italy, we try to find more passes, and uh, here it's more a physical game, but uh, you know, uh, we can, it can help me also in the future to, to, to improve uh, my, my skills, also this kind of, of year, because here you need to be very f speed and very fast, uh, especially in the outside mid, so uh, it's, it's a good experience, I'm enjoying it. That's great, and it hasn't stopped you at all, you're leading the team with 10 goals and yeah. you're a big part of that offense. Coach, today snapped a five game winning streak, tough loss against Wapak. Yeah. But overall, I mean, that was a good test for you. That could be something you can look forward to in the postseason as well. What did you learn from today in a, in a defeat? Well, you know, uh, we looked at it, and, and one of the things I told the boys is there's a couple of things you cannot uh, teach. Uh, one is experience and one is speed, and, and Walpock has both of those. But what I think we learned from this is what it really takes to be an elite team and what you need to do and what we need to work on to become better. And uh, it's definitely a learning experience for us. Uh, while, of course, we don't want to be on the losing end, uh, there's always something you can gain from even a loss. So we're going to take it and, and build on it. So, Jacob, playing in the West Ohio Soccer League, newly formed West Ohio Soccer League. And, and you mentioned that that's a good time because now you get to actually play for a league title. How's, how's the league treated you so far? We've done very well. The teams are very quality teams like Botkins and Sydney Lehman especially. We've done very well, I assume. And it's different because a lot of the teams here have never had anything to play for but the postseason and try to play for that state title. But now we can almost feel a sense of connection because we're all going for that league, that first league title especially. It's cool to be able to say I'm the first league, what WOSL champion, and we're all competing for it. Yeah, it's bragging rights on the line right now. Lima Central Catholic is in first place with a 3-0 league record. Alberto, you guys are 4-0 at home. And you, what do you like about playing at Lyme, or Spartan Stadium, I guess, officially now. And first of all, do you, sorry to cut you off, Alberto. How do you feel about the name change to Spartan Stadium? Are you going to give me a politically correct answer right here? Uh, you know what? Uh, it's the, it's, it's, it's uh, Lima Seniors Field. I guess they can, uh, they can name it whatever they want. All right. Just had to ask. Alberto, what do you like about playing at, at home in front of your fans? Seems like you guys have a lot of success there. Yeah, no, I want to say thank you to, to all our, our schoolmates because they usually come and support us. So for us, it's very, it's very important to, to see that uh, also uh, other guys of, of our school um, take care of our results. And uh, yeah, we have um, the, new, the new field, they told, there is fake grass, so the ball is going very, very fast. On and the so turf, yeah. Yeah, it, it, if, if we have, uh, when, when we can play very well with good soccer skill, we can, it's, it's very helpful for us, so. That's great, well, good luck to you the rest of the way. Before we finish out, Coach, just want to get your opinion on how the league is going and, and what, you, what you think has been good about the West Ohio Soccer League for the area. Well, I, I think it's a great opportunity to uh, give a lot of these schools who haven't had the opportunity to play in the league uh, to, to come together and, and have something to shoot for. Uh, as Jake said earlier, you know, before it was just uh, you play your regular season, hope you're peaking uh, by the time tournaments uh, come around. But uh, this is a great opportunity to give the boys uh, something to shoot for, not only a league title, but uh, all of the other things that go along with it, uh, the first team, second team uh, opportunity, and just more ex exposure for the boys. So, and that's the most important thing. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun to watch yeah. as it plays out all the way through. Thanks for joining us to all of you. Best of luck the rest of the season. Time for a break on On the Pitch. When we come back, we're going to talk with three more T-Birds seniors here on WOSM. Welcome back to On the Pitch, joined now by, two, by three more LCC seniors. It is Luke Bittner right to my left, Garrett Thomas in the middle, Ryan Recker on the end. And Luke, we'll start with you. How has the season gone for you? Uh, what do you think some of the strengths are of this LCC team? Um, I think we, we, get, well, we came with a lot of uh, underclassmen. And we, we got, the, there, there's a lot of speed with our underclass. So we have a lot of them up top. And we came with uh, Garrett, Ryan, and a few other starters back. So it, experience and speed has helped us. That's a good mix to have. Yeah. And Garrett, you patrol that middle. What are some of the ways that, that you've helped? Well, Alberto leads the team with 10 goals. Have yeah. you been a part of some of those assists? What are some of the ways uh, you've helped feed those forwards? <laughs> uh, just trying to get the cross in early enough. Uh, I've had a couple, uh, some trouble 
holding on to the ball in the corner when I should be crossing it. So I've been working on that a lot, but mainly just that. Nice. And Ryan, you patrol the back. How important is it to be that last line of defense? And how confident do you think your team is in you knowing you're back there? Well, uh, first of all, I mean, like, I've, we've got Luke, uh, another starter back in the back, but really with like a lot of new midfielders and kind of just just that to hold on to the back. I mean, I think they're relying a lot on like Luke and I to hold that back line and you know keep keep the balls out and distribute it to the midfielders and whatnot. You guys have kind of done a good job, especially during that five-game winning streak. Luke, what are what are your goals for for this year? W O S L league title or playoffs or mm -hmm. both yeah that's one of them and i think really to just gain e even if we lose throughout the season even if we lose a few games i think if we just gain experience from these games and carry them on into next year with our uh class coming coming uh next year so i think if we have a lot of experience yeah even if we lose it will benefit us next year. But you're a senior, you won't be yeah. there, so you, you want to yeah. win now, right? Yeah. You should say it. It's but, nice of you to care about the program, yeah. but I would want to win now. Yeah, and yeah, definitely. But I, I'd love to see them come back. Of course. Even better. Good, good member of the T-Birds right there. And Gary, what about you? What are some of the goals? Uh, I definitely want the league championship, but uh, I also am looking for the postseason. I want to make a good, strong run, and hopefully we can go deeper than we did last year. Ryan, we'll close out with you. What do you like about playing for Coach Tabor? Um, like, I really, like, it's, it's nice to have, like, a new coach, new, new experience. And for one, he's doing, like, great things for us. He's, I mean, it's changes, obviously, but really, like, it's, it's nice changes because we're working stuff in and we're getting better because of it. I mean, it's obvious, especially with a lot of young people. You can tell the improvement. And looking to improve as they go on throughout the year. They take on Ottoville at home on Monday, and then Thursday they're at Temple Christian. So before we go here on, on the pitch, I'm going to juggle off for the third time. I'm yet to get a victory. Maybe this will be the first. Alberto, if you want to come back on, you guys can be witness. I'll go first, and then we'll see how this goes. Four. Four is by far the weakest that I've done, so good luck, Alberto. This should be easy for you to win. Oh, oh, oh. I think oh. the lights must have gotten to you. So I, I tied. Now I'm 0-1 and 2. Well done, though. And uh, best of luck to you guys the rest of the season. Thanks so much for joining us. That's going to do it for this edition of On the Pitch with the LCC T-Birds. We'll see you next time on WOSN. <laughs>